hey guys hope you all are doing great and uh, today in this video I'm uh, going to explain you something very very important because this question has been asked several times on the channel and uh, I haven't been able to do any video on this and that's the reason I thought that let me clarify this uh, based on my experience my knowledge so far in the industry right I'll try to give very honest attempt here and uh, hopefully this can give you some good comparative analysis in terms of skills responsibility and salary uh, for each of these three different streams of testing manual testing which I consider as a functional or web automation web testing then ETL testing that is manual and then e automation ETL testing so three different streams of testing based on this uh, parameters let's try to understand basically right and uh, obviously all these three are very very key important aspect for deciding your job or your time how much do you need to put in efforts right and that is the reason this is skills these three parameters uh, are crucial to do the comparative analysis okay so let's go ahead and try to understand each of them right so first skills comparison guys right so uh, first one the manual testing or I would say the functional testing people call them as a functional testing uh, but actually that is a manual testing right what basically do we do in the manual testing it's mostly linked to your uh, web testing right basically testing some website or some sort of data that is available right and uh, basically functionality of the application and all those things right basically what kind of skills we need we do not really need very hardcore skills basically here we need uh, the software testing knowledge like what are the different phases of software life, life cycle and then defect life cycle etc etc right so basically uh, very basic knowledge of the software testing plus test execution test management tool one of the test management tool is also required because you might need to go and run your test cases or execute the test cases in the test management tool for example Jira, Spira tool and all those kind of tools which are there in the market right any of these tools knowledge is important basically so you can see that the functionality of the application that when you are testing you probably need to also know the domain knowledge right and that is basically uh, in fact applicable to manual ETL testing as well but yeah I mean um, if you look at the hardcore uh, you know tech skills I think probably we don't need so much of it basically doing the manual testing okay let's look at the manual ETL testing guys when I say ETL testing this becomes specialized testing right extract transform load when we talk about ETL it is basically data centric testing we are not talking about the normal web testing etc we are talking about the data we are actually going to test the data and whenever we are talking about testing the data you need some specialized testings for example you need to be able to fetch the data from let's say database so you need to have good knowledge of good um, experience in writing the very complex SQL queries right and you also want to get the data from let's say some files etc right and those kind of different files how do we read the file how do we get the data from the file how to get the count from the file for that we need the basic Linux knowledge basically Unix and Linux knowledge is important for this and then also ETL tools are important to understand because you need to understand at least one ETL tool for example Informatica, Pintao or maybe Clover anything right any tool that basically data stage lot of tools are there in the market one tools in knowledge is important because you need to basically uh, know the different process and different transformation that are actually being supported by these ETL tools right so knowledge of tool is important now data warehousing because majority of the ETL systems are built on basically data warehousing around data warehousing and so data warehousing concept is important now data pipeline now one job can be dependent on another job and the next job is dependent on some other job basically dependency management right all those kind of things so data pipeline is important right how the data is flowing from one to another system basically right that data pipelining is important to know here right now uh, the last one that we can say uh, is basically the experience in the cloud environment any cloud AWS Azure or maybe GCP right Google or anything else right any other cloud also small cloud basically the idea is basically how do we work in the cloud environment that is important right 
uh, for example, working on S3 or working on RDS, etc. In, in AWS, that is essential to know because you might need, you might have the data that is getting loaded onto target because nowadays everyone actually moving toward the cloud, right? So that's important. We need to know the cloud working experience in the cloud environment, okay? Now, let's look at the automation ETL testing and this is a big, big shift, guys. Why I'm saying big shift? Because look, here, what we are going to do, we are going to learn the Python. Python means mastering on the language itself. You have to basically master the language because you are going to write a very complex framework and uh, whatever work that you are going to do as part of manual testing, person was doing here, the same thing is going to be done by the code. You can think about it, right? Now, let's say, uh, I'll tell you the, the comparison here, right? And then what are the skills that we need? Let's try to understand Python, which is must and uh, then strong problem solving dsa data structure and algorithms right you need to be able to solve the problems and for that you need to have the analytical mindset basically right you should be able to you should be good at uh, like solving the problems strings problems list problem dictionaries and all those kind of things basically right you should be good at it right now etl testing knowledge is important because whatever we do in the manual etl testing the same thing we are going to automate so you should know the etl testing manual knowledge basically right like uh, uh, knowing the etl tools extraction transformation loading and what all the different type of test cases like data completeness transformation tech check data quality and all those manual part we need to know and when we know that that that's where we can actually write the automated we can automate those test cases which are actually being conducted by manual testing team right now linux it is basically optional but if you know the basic linux this sh should work because sometime you might need to basically uh, run some jobs etc to load the data and all right so that's the reason it is important but it's optional if you don't know if you know python that is good enough okay now sql guys sql is must here also because you need to write lot of sql queries um, similar way how we validate here here you will need to write the query that can be embedded into your code right so that's the reason you need to be good in proficient into writing the sql queries now strong expertise into test automation framework and this is the main key skills that people should have you should have the experience of designing and uh, basically coding the entire automation framework right into very very um, you know um, uh, reusable manner like lot of uh, um, components we should be having in your framework right so all those things we should be having so good at the automation framework designing it and developing it and maintaining it whatever right now git is also important because you are actually talking about storing the code where you store the code once you build it so you have to basically do the version controlling inside the git basically now ci cd once you are done with the code you would like to run it right so where you actually set it up you set it up into jenkins or ci cd basically an experience in cloud that is also required here because you are actually uh, fetching let's say uh, target data from the cloud then you need to be able to connect to the database right and all those kind of things we should be aware of it basically okay so this is just a very high level knowledge but if you look at it right if you are actually trying to shift from here to here like manual testing to automation testing it is a very very big jump i'm not saying this is impossible this is possible but if you are actually learning from some uh, you know uh, some good teacher then you probably can shift from here to here but if you are trying by your own you are learning by your own probably this is not a good idea to switch directly from manual to automation etl automation testing guys okay because there is lot of things that you need, need to learn here but if person who is working into manual ETL testing, he can actually have the, uh, he can uh, easily transition from manual ETL testing to automation ETL testing, okay? Because he already know this, he or she already know the manual testing aspect of it. What extra that person has to learn is Python. I mean, basically the, the language and then the DSA uh, problem solving uh, uh, things and some bit of git and ci cd which is actually people should be able to do it and then main thing they have to learn about the automation framework so actually proper training if this person so i'm saying all i'm saying is manual etl testing to automation etl testing is easier than your manual etl testing directly jumping from here to here okay so this is what it is okay now guys let's uh, look at 
the roles and responsibility comparison also right because see here as i said manual testing person actually does normally the functional testing defect, defect reporting and all basically not much affect technology uh, thinks that this guy is actually using it right and then manual detail testing obviously i'm saying that we have to basically test the core of the data right like the extraction transformation loading obviously a lot of skills is required in terms of writing the query sql query or in terms of writing the linux uh, you know uh, commands etc so this is basically the day to day work of manual etl testing engineer okay now automation etl testing this is basically big 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 shift in terms of roles and responsibility this person is also called as sdet okay software development in developer in uh, you know test right which means this person automation etl test engineer is basically know everything about coding he can write a very good code very robust code and also he or she can actually write the code that can actually replace multiple manual etl test engineer isn't it like because your automation suite can run onto multiple uh, on day and night wherever you want to do right especially for the regression pack you can actually run it right so uh, this is the thing right once you know the automation skill set you you become almost become irres irreplaceable irreplaceable right because nobody can replace you because you can actually uh, write the code that can actually replace the manual detail testing i'm not just saying that this is going to absolute but yeah i'm saying that uh, probably you do not need so many manual test engineer probably one automation test engineer and couple of manual test engineer should be good enough because this guy is able to write the code that can be leveraged by manual etl testing engineers also okay so this is the roles and responsibility now guys um, let's look at the main thing that we want to talk about is the salary part right so this is the comparative salary and this salary this figure that i'm talking about it it is just based on the my understanding and the estimation right it it uh, it is just the average salary guys right sometime it can be actually uh, more like especially if you are going to tier 1 product based company then probably the salary might be one and half times what you can see here basically on the upper range also right for example 30 to 45 also is possible here basically right but i just want to give you that the average salary that you can expect once you are into this different type of testing basically so let's try to understand based on the career level entry level mid level senior lead and then architect level i have basically put in this numbers basically hopefully this will be help helpful right so for the entry level if you look at 3.5 to 5 lakhs for the manual tester manual etl testing basically etl testing 4 to 6 lakhs and automation 5 to 8 lakhs yeah so here it is not too much of a significant amount but let's move to the mid level and let's see 5 to 8 lakhs here in the manual testing manual etl 6 to 10 lakhs right here also not too much of a difference but here if you look at it it is actually quite a significant jump here 10 to 15 lakhs for the automation etl test engineer right now senior level seven plus years experience let's say 10 to 12 lakhs as part of manual testing engineer and here 12 to 18 lakhs here 15 to 25 lakhs this is again a very very double salary if you look the higher side of it let's say the uh, outbound of this is 12 and here it is 25 it is just directly double right don't you see it's double basically right and the manual etl testing it's coming somewhere around the middle of it yeah uh, now lead lead who are having eight to 12 years of experience they might get 12 to 15 lakhs as part of manual test engineer and then manual etl 15 to 22 right this is also very significant basically and here if you look at 20 to 35 lakhs guys this is again more than double actually if you look at it here 15 and here 35 so 15 into 2 it's more than even double basically right so just look at the manual and automation right because here we are talking about etl also etl is somewhere in the middle basically now architect and principal so these are basically 12 plus years experience up to 20 25 years of experience right so i'm just uh, just mention like 12 years plus maybe yeah somewhere around that and uh, i'm not talking about like 25 years of experience but 12 to 15 probably yeah 12 to 15 should be the ideal range basically one more can be like senior architect or something that can be 15 plus basically but yeah this is 12 plus let's say so 15 to 18 lakhs for the manual testing 
and then 20 to 30 lakhs for the manual ETL testing and then here if you look at it 30 to 50 lakhs guys this is just just too much actually if you look at it here 18 lakhs and here actually three times so then the number of experience uh, are the years of experience when you grow and obviously you have to move in, uh, in like in your uh, tech stack also you have to learn more and more tech stack also the the levels that you move or the years of experience goes grows then you actually get too much differences between manual and ETL now here 18 and here 50 you can see the higher higher side of it right and this is just such a big number basically for such a big difference right now if you go to next level basically you might probably see this is touching around maybe 60 65 lakhs right 65 lakhs easily right maybe senior architect around 15 plus 20 15 and 20 ex experience this guy can actually fetch somewhere around uh, 65 to 70 lakhs or something like that right and then hi, he can go as a director and all right so because um, you know yeah, the future future also is determined by the, the the tools and the technology that you know right because being an automation test engineer or ETL automation test engineer you have the mastery of all the text text basically right because you are learning the language you are learning some databases you are learning many many things right and then there are chances that when you go into architect level and all above the director level position will be actually uh, very suitable for this automation test engine because this person already know it right and that's the reason if sooner or later you anyways have to follow this track right so it's better that you actually think about it and um, you make sure that you are learning the things and you are actually moving toward from left to right from manual to automation testing okay you can actually do transitioning from here also like manual to ETL manual testing and then from manual ETL manual testing to automation uh, ETL testing right this also you can do but if you are really um, uh, here let's say ETL testing you can actually jump it here directly there are two ways you can do you can learn by yourself there is no problem only thing is you might get the more time you might have to spend more and more time and uh, you know learning by or your own is always like a challenge right so you can do it or you can actually go for the professional classes where people will teach you handhold yourself and then you, they can help you transition from here to there basically right are people who are actually doing manual to, to directly from let's say person is there in the manual testing and want to go automation testing i would never suggest learning by your own and going here because it is such a steep journey that you will not be able to do it or even if you're able to do it might be not worth of your time maybe you might do it in two years three years which is not really worth right so better i will say you should basically seek some professional help and people should be able to teach you i would say that it's best to basically seek the professional help okay never mind like you spend some amount but you get yourself actually in the safe end and uh, you get the guidance guidance right you get a step by step guidance rather than scratching your head and and, and learning online etc right it's always better to get the professional help yeah but yeah up to you how do you want to take it but this is what i wanted to tell you guys and uh, this is um, uh, kind of uh, um, you know uh, topic that i wanted to uh, do it because this i believe that many of your doubts are already gone now and you are clear what you need to do if you are into software testing etl testing especially right and uh, i hope to see you soon again with the next video until then happy learning god bless you bye